Hello YouTube, um, today I'll be making a tutorial on, well, it's a lot better than this. It's about how to make the Optic Gaming, well, Optic Nation logo in GIMP. As you can see, I made it similar in um, GIMP for my profile picture. Don't know what happened there. Anyway, so first what you want to do, I should have already done this, but open up GIMP. Mine opens up pretty slowly. Um, by the way, I've made, I think, four YouTube backgrounds for people today. Oh, and I'm pretty tired. I'm just making one more video and then I'll go to bed even though it's only 6.11. Okay. So, you want to go File, New. If you're making this for your profile picture, you want to make the width 300 and the height 300. But I'm just going to use the default settings. So now I forgot to mention you need to download a text, I mean a font. I'll put the link in the description for it. So yeah, it's called Optic. Or you can just type in in um, the font, just type in Optic and it will be there. We're going to make the size 160 and we're going to type a capital O. So now you just kind of put that up there and now you get your text again. This time you change the um, font color to a green like it's pretty light so it's something like that I think and you do another capital G remember they have to be capital and I always do that okay I think a mosquito just beat me but so as you can see that's pretty nice so you want to line it up something like that so as you can see it's nearly touching there but it's not so now as if you're looking at the optic logo right now you'll see that there's a glossy white bit there to do that we right click on the O click alpha to selection get the ellipse tool uh, change the foreground color to white and the background color to black get your blend tool get your gradient and change that to foreground to tra transparent and we want to have it on linear but we don't need that yet so first you just make a little circle like, hold on, before you do that change the mode to the intersect with current selection so it's the last one and then you just make a little selection like that so as you can see the alpha to selection only gets the bit that you just covered now you get your blend tool and if you've already done all that you don't have to do it and you just drag that down I'm just going to leave it at that. So it's something like that, just gives it a little bit of glossiness. Then you can tone. Um, if you did that on a new layer, you could tone it down. You could use opacity and tone it down, which means that you could use um, more of the O. Now you go select none. Okay, so this bit's showing, but um, this bit goes under, underneath. So to do that, you zoom in 400 and you turn the opacity down of the G down to about 50. Okay, now you get your um, path tool and you just want to go along um, the O. So just follow what I'm doing. So something like that. Okay, now you just want to line them up so that they're even. Um, last recording I did, this went for 10 minutes, and this is meant to only take like 5 minutes. I haven't seen, there are no other tutorials I think about this, so yeah, it took me, it didn't take me that long to figure it out. But now you just press enter, and you get this alpha to selection around there. Now make sure 
be clicking the okay make sure you um on the J you get your eraser tool and you just erase this out then you go select none and then you just fix up any bits that you can see now you zoom out so like that and then you just change the opacity back up to 100 so that's pl looking pretty good now but it still doesn't look exactly the same well this isn't going to be exactly the same it's going to look the same my dog just looked at me really weird <laughs> okay so now you want a little border around the G so once again alpha to select G make a new layer on top of that go select grow and we're going to grow that by two now you get your bucket fill tool make your foreground color black and you just fill that in now you move that layer that you just filled in underneath the G then you merge down the layer that was the, the green layer and then you go select none I don't know if that bit made sense but just watch what I do I was already zoomed into two so that's pretty much how it is in GIMP to um, make it look better you get your text again and you make this size of the font 40 and then you just type in in capitals optic gaming maybe make the font a bit smaller make the font 20 20 and my dog just farted and then just put it there you can go up to selection filters light shadow drop shadow zero zero ten opacity 100 allow right you go select none and then to do that for this you just merge down so it's one so I'm going to change this to OG then you go after selection filters light and shadow drop shadow okay select none so that's how you do the um optic gaming optic nation just making sure my audio was on yeah that's how you do it um this has been zealous d arts and i'm out i say